to continue uh, discussing the different steering wheels for the different systems that I have. Uh, in this video, we're going to be discussing this, the official steering wheel from H Tech made for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, discuss uh, more in depth uh, right now. So, we're going to take a closer look. Okay, so here we have the um, steering wheel that I have for the Sega Dreamcast uh, made by a company uh, called H Tech. It was made for the license for the Sega, uh, Sega Dreamcast. I'm sorry. And um, another one of my. Uh, Prized possessions here. Uh, another steering wheel. Again, I'd love to have the arcade feel at home. So these accessories bring that home. And um, this one is pretty uh, another simplistic one. It has the, the different buttons here. It has a, an L and R. It has uh, an A, B. It has a start button. It has different gears in the back which would be like L and R buttons. This one is very interesting because you use these for gas. So when you're driving, what you would do is you would just pull it in. And on the other side, it would be the brakes would be on the left hand side. So kind of mimics what you'd be doing with your feet. This one doesn't have a connection that I've seen for pedals. Some of the different wheels that I have do have that connection. This one doesn't. So these are your pedals in actuality. It also has an, an area right here, if you can see it, has an area right here where you can put your uh, Dreamcast memory uh, memory uh, cards or uh, machines, and um, I I like it. Uh, another prized possession. Again, I love arcade feel, and this one brings me the arcade feel for the Dreamcast. And love the Dreamcast because we love Sega. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give a a view real quick on uh, some gameplay. We're gonna be playing Sega Rally for the Dreamcast. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do some gameplay, uh, utilizing the steering wheel for the uh, Sega Dreamcast. And uh, again, we're using Sega Rally Championship 2 for the Dreamcast. I did do a gameplay with the Sega Rally for the Sega Saturn steering wheel in a previous video. So this time we'll be using the, uh, we'll be doing it on Sega Rally 2. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it started here. He wants me to write to segarally.com. All right, let's press the start button. Okay, I'm gonna press the start button right here. We're going to, let's pick, let's pick arcade, whatever. All right. The one thing I love about, you know, cartridges is, is that you don't have to worry about, uh, we're gonna do a practice, you don't have to worry about loading. But I have to admit the Sega Dreamcast really doesn't give me a bad taste when it comes to loading. Uh, we're gonna do mountain region, I guess. Why not? We pick uh, the two, whatever PGOT, whatever it is, European vehicle, automatic. And name entry, I'm just gonna say RRR. I wasn't expecting to do it. Whatever, just start. Just start. RRR, Retro Re Rod Squad Retro Reviews, Rod Squad. All right, Sega Rally 2, Mountain Start. Again, the pedals are behind the steering wheel itself. Here we go. This game is much better than the very first. Um, oh, 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 oh. It's, these, these steering wheels are difficult because they're very sensitive to turns. So you have to like be able to turn it soft. Don't make a sharp turn. When you make sharp turns, you're going to run right into the walls uh, you know not for nothing graphically this game is awesome i don't think the dreamcast got all the respect it should have gotten because it produces awesome graphics and the the games i mean the system still stand the test of time as far as graphics are concerned it's awesome and this is a really sharp turn oh lucky i did not go flying off from the side of the road okay but um But it's very, very, it's just the turns. They're, you gotta get used to it. Don't make sharp turns, just make slight turns when you get into a corner that you can make them. But, um, just wanted to let you know how it works. I just pressed the brakes right there, the left one. But, anyway. Anyway, as you can see, uh, it works perfectly. 
I've used this for the Sega Rally, as you can see. Also, Crazy Taxi 1, Crazy Taxi 2. I also have another racing game I can't think of the top of my head. Test Drive, yeah, the Test Drive. Uh, it was pretty good, but um, another price, uh, piece of our collection here, the official uh, Sega Dreamcast steering wheel uh, by, uh, made by a company called um, H-Tech. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button.